Hello everyone, today I'm gonna make um, a wig cap and uh, teach you how you make it at home with only fabric and uh, sewing and we're gonna make a wig very fast so stay tuned so we need elastic and stretchy fabric like this any kind of color depends about the hair color that you want and needle and thread and pair of scissors and I use this head to uh, measure uh, the elastic or make the, the wig uh, the doll wig so you just take this elastic and measure uh, the head and I am gonna try it again to make sure if the elastic fit perfectly on the head perfect so now we're gonna sewing the edge of this elastic So we're gonna try it again to see if um, fit or not. And so far so good. Now take the stretchy fabric, put it on the head and put the elastic on it like so And now we're gonna um, sewing the elastic to the fabric like like that. and so all of this around after you finished just flip this excess fabric flip it over and sew it from the top from here above the elastic okay
and we're gonna end up like this look so we don't need this uh, excess uh, excess fabric so we're gonna cut it Now take it off and flip it over and there you go, there you have it. As you see you have now a wood cap. Easy. Now we gotta try it on. Yep. Nice and very easy. It's not even take a few minutes. And voila! Now we're gonna start to make the wig. I have human hair here, 14 inch, 27 the color, and like uh, the the color is like golden golden um, blonde it's a really beautiful color I like it and soft to human human hair and all my wigs are human hair uh, I like to work with human hair a lot and I split the weft to make it thin as you see right there and now I use this um, curvy um, needle that make your work more easier so we're gonna um, start to sewing the weft all around the perimeter of the head but make sure to sew the weft to the fabric not to the elastic okay after you measure um, the weft cut it and start to um, sewing it and as I mentioned before sew the weft to the fabric not to the elastic And I highly suggest to use a head that you don't want or a head like this one from Aliexpress or because you don't need to damage the doll especially if you make this wig for um, BGD stalls if you don't have anything like this you can sew it on the doll but protect the doll head and be careful or okay so yeah And we finished only one weft and now we're gonna 
make another rift until we finish this way. After we finish this wig, this is gonna left, which is we need to make a closure for uh, this area. So take a small weft like this and roll it, just roll it like that. And make sure the roll is tight, it's not loose. And time to sew in it. Sew the edge of the rule. You don't need to make it loose. So start from the edge to the middle of the weft. It's struggling a little bit, but after you used to it, it's easy. and make the um, thread uh, like crisscross all of the weft now I'm gonna show you how And we end up like this, and we're gonna make our uh, knots because we need to close the stitching, don't need it to be loose. After a couple of knots that you make, cut the thread, you don't need it anymore. And now our closer, closure it's um, uh, ready but you have to flat this closure so what you need is just part the hair from the middle to make the part okay after that take the flatter iron and make it in medium this is because a human hair, it's take the heat, but we don't need the, uh, to burn the hair, hair also. So um, we're gonna make it 180. So part the hair, as I mentioned, take a napkin or like a tissue paper, put it in the hair because we don't need to burn the hair, as I mentioned before, and put it, make sure to 
uh, make it in the uh, like um, in the center of the weft not from like you need it in the center okay take the weft be careful here don't need to burn it yourself or your finger and press really hard really really hard and keep pressing like that until you see the weft it's absolutely flat like so it's flat y'all look at that great now we're gonna close this um, uh, area with this weft as you see and you have a few like um, two methods to close it um, I will show you now the method you can sew it with the needle on thread and this take a really long time sometimes end up like not really but I don't like it like not always make it but what I just love to do it's the easy way which is the hot glue method just put the hot glue on this area and just press um, the closure on remove the doll head because we don't need to damage it with heat so I'm gonna use this uh, hairspray uh, bottle and just do it like this and instead the head and now add your glue hot glue Time to take your closure and just press it really hardly, like really hard, to make sure it's adhere to the hair. After a few minutes, and the glue's like completely dry. Now this wig is absolutely ready to use to clean and style. And yeah, you have a, a wig, and a wig, and a hat, uh, sorry, a wig cap. Easy breezy. And when you so, like found like a hot glue uh, through the hair, it's easy after it's dry, easy to remove it from the hair. And now I'm gonna wash the hair and um, clean it. And it's ready to style and cut the hair uh, sometimes I see I don't know wh where is the front from the back so I make a mark here in the front uh, like I sewing a mark here to let me know where's the front e area you know so I take the thread and needle and sew only a dot, like something really small like this to let me know where's the front. And there you go there you have it you guys um, you have a wig really nice ready to go ready to style I make this wig for one of my doll uh, dolls uh, MU dolls it's small uh, the head and uh, and um, yeah I prefer to use the wigs on 
separate dolls like this one that I don't care if um, um, I don't because I don't need to cause a lot of damage on my expensive doll so I use this one and yeah I, I don't know what the hairstyle that I wanted for uh, the doll yet but so far I'm gonna make it long like this play with it and see until I decided what the, the haircut that I want what the length all this stuff so if you like what you see just please give me thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you like and see you in my next one bye guys